applicable as like as an a filters only how these filters will be applicable if, if you want to select any one of the transaction table or if you want to select the only the br1 or br2 or br3 means you can select from here that means uh, you can select only the br1 for these uh, transaction table and you have to go again with that particular next table and you have to select the same transaction label like uh, br1 so uh, if you want to create the two transaction two times you have to apply the filter means it's not uh, easy that means if you want to when you are visualization mode uh, to apply the filters regularly means it it goes under some difficulty for that reason we are using the manage parameters these parameters will be used uh, in a multiple uh, ways how these parameters will be applicable means if you click on the manage parameters you'll get the parameters like this or if you want to create the new parameter means you can select the manage parameters click on the new parameter the manage parameters are also same like that parameter name one that means id one so i'm giving here you see here the description if you want to give the description for that particular parameters you can give otherwise it's not required and if you want to apply these parameters to the branch branch id so that means we have the branch ids how many branch ids we have that have multiple branch ids will be there that is a branch 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that you want to select any branch id for the current value you can give the current value you can select okay then automatically you will get an a one uh, here that is a id 1 so how these uh, parameter can be applicable with the new tables that means in the previous tables means you can go to the customers table you have to apply this parameter to that particular filter if you apply once in this parameter automatically that parameter will be uh, reflected without changing any transaction without changing the separately so how to apply these parameter uh, like uh, how this uh, how to apply this uh, parameter in the filter means you can go to the particular branch id and you have to clear the filter first if any filter is applied otherwise go to the uh, branch id and select the text filter there click on the equals then here you have to give the parameter like uh, select the parameter that parameter why because i created only the one parameter if you have the multiple parameters also you can create here you can select or and you can give the second parameter names and second parameter values here if you selected id 1 means that is the first parameter i created so okay then only the br1 that means a single filter can be applied here and if you want to apply the same thing to the transaction also go to the parameter go to the filter and give the text filter equals and here also you have to apply the parameter 1 that is id1 click on okay here also that is applied so how these will be applicable in the uh, visualization method means i'll show you how these uh, visualization methods will be used close and apply then it will goes to the uh, power bi desktop only it will works uh, what you did in the power query if you click on close and apply automatically the applied things will be reflected to the particular power bi desktop so you want to show that particular means you have to drag this table into the visualization mode so what uh, transaction id you have to check means uh, balance that means the branch id we applied so select the branch id you will get that particular branch id in the visualization screen that is a branch id you got and uh, balance what balance you need or else uh, this is uh, this table is reflected for the uh, customers and you want one more table you can drag one more table this is for the customers and uh, you can uh, select this uh, particular table and uh, you can select the branch id here and you can select the total balance here so for this uh, transaction br1 uh, total details will be displayed here
okay uh, you want to apply the filter uh, in this particular visualization screen means go to the transform there you will get the edit parameters in these edit parameters if you click on the edit parameters you can change the parameter value here automatically it will apply automatically it will apply no need to go to the transform page that means power query page and no need to update the parameters over there no need to apply the filters and all the things in the visualization it is very easy to apply the filters in the visualization screen only so you want to get all the things that means if you want to change the again you can change the edit parameters you can use the other thing that is a br4 you can apply the filters by using the parameters in the visualization screen by applying the parameters these parameters will can use uh, i don't want to uh, enter the values by using the edit parameters i don't want to enter again and again so i want a list of the values how to select the particular one means you can use the you can use the list of values over there in that particular parameters only that is br5 so if you want to edit the parameters means you can go to the edit parameters if you want to edit the parameters means go back to the transform data and you can select the again manage parameters manage parameters over there you can select in the place of type any suggested values list of values here you can give the uh, in your transaction table we already have the br1 next br2 next br3 br4 br5 like this you can create the, the list and you can give the current value click on okay so the one of the another thing will be changed here that is the id one the list will be available here you can select the any one of the list and go back to the again transaction tables go back again to the transaction tables and you have to clear the filters and you have to apply the parameters again clear and click on the text filter and you have to apply the filter apply the parameter again in the transaction table also you have to clear here and apply the same filter parameter and you have to click on the okay then this will be applicable to that particular place that is in the visualization click on close and apply then these uh, uh transaction things will be applied automatically okay the br3 will be changed if you want to click on the, uh, modify that means you can select uh, click on the edit parameters the list will be available here you can select the list want i modify again you can change sir i don't want only the one parameter is applicable i want two or three parameters can be applicable at a time so can we select the two or three means so for that reason also we have to uh, create one more parameter one more parameter go again back to the transform page click on the manage parameters and you want to add one more parameter here that is id2 and the list same also you can uh, give in this list uh, br1 br2 br3 br4 and be your five so uh, current value be your one 
so you have to if you want to create if you want only the decimal values means you can change here or you want anything you can apply from here that means here the manage parameters that is the name of the parameter you have to give this is for the uh, uh, purpose and the description if you want to give any description for this name you can give this description here or you want a type of any type of the values only this specified type of the values only i need a filter means you can apply the type here or you want to suggested values any values means it accepts it accepts the whatever the value you entered that value only applicable or else you want the list you can use the list or else you want to write any query means you can write the query or what any default values you required in that particular means you can uh, make it as an one default value so it can't be editable so you can use the default value also or you want to use the current value so that means uh, to apply the particular uh, parameter you have to give any one of the current parameter so click on okay that two parameters will be applied now so go back again to the customers and you have to remove the, uh, clear the filter and apply the new filter that means you have to apply the two filters again how to apply the two filters means there you have the two options is available if you want a more filters means if you have to click on the advanced you can give the more filters you can add any number of a filters can be applied by using the advanced option so here also i am using the same thing that is a parameter id1 equals and parameter id2 so i am applying the two parameters here that means i am taking as any two filters over there and i am doing the same thing to the transactions also here the transaction also i am clearing the filters i am taking the tax filter equals that is the first filter id1 second filter id 2 now close and apply for every updations you have to click on uh, close and apply otherwise it won't be applicable to the transaction that means it won't be applicable to the power bi desktop so uh, we are already selected that uh, you click on the edit parameters you got here that is uh, in the id1 we have selected the br1 in the id2 we are selecting br2 click on okay then we got the two filters over here so like this you can uh, change or you can uh, update the filters by using the parameters so with this uh, we can change or if you want to select any one of the graph in the place of uh, that one you can use the same uh, visualization you want to focus on that particular table only you can click on the focus uh, table or if you want to apply the more options like uh, filters or any slicers can also be used sort of for this table the slicer is nothing but uh, if you have a multiple pages if you, if you see here this is a page 1 report if you click on the plus you will get the page 2 report here so if you click on the three that means like uh, how we are uh, using the spreadsheets in the excel like this only we can use the multiple reports can be uh, selected in the page 1 page 2 page 3 if you use the slicer there is no need to uh, change for the each report so the slicer is used for the uh, getting the values automatically updations uh, will be done in the uh, multiple pages so manaki edaithe pages use chestnamo we are using the same uh, 
multiple pages will be used in the page one, page two, page three. You can uh, select the directly slices. These visualizations can be if you drag this particular one. So if you want a bar graph of the balance, automatically the details will be get here. Branch IDs, uh, address. So how the things will be changed means is just uh, it is very drag and drop process only. But uh, which visualization tool, uh, which uh, visualization chart you require, you can just select and you can drag, and you can select the what values you have to get the visualization mode. You can select the particular uh, values in this uh, right side panel that is the fields. Or you want to apply any filters over there, you can use these filters. Or if you want to uh, get the values into an a uh, drill out methods, so these drill out methods will keep you uh, that editing process only. If you want to edit anything uh, like changing the format, or you want to do the borders, or you want to change the font, or anything, you can be used uh, here. Or you want to change the axis values also you can change the axis values here in this visualization or if you, you don't want these visualizations you want more visualizations you click click in here you can get the more visualizations or you can import the visualization method from your desktop if you have any visualizations are there or if you want to get uh, the visualization from the internet or any other sites you can get the more visualizations and you can get the all resource values uh, visualization methods in the different resources and you can uh, use this one so this is about the today's session uh, and in the afternoon session we'll explain you more in the power query